Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's full body fat loss workout. And um, we don't need any equipment for this today and it's also a no repeat. But before we begin, let's get warmed up. And get our bodies ready now for all the nice energetic moves that I have lined up for you today. Now we're just step touching. Go forward and back if you wish, or you can stay on the spot if you like. And lift those arms up to shoulder height. Let's get all those limbs moving. Up and up. Now this is going to be a nice sweaty workout today. And we actually have 25 exercises, so a little bit longer than usual. And if you want to, you can add weights. That's up to you now. If, you want, if you're feeling really energetic today or you've had a few days away from weights, and you're feeling like a little bit of an extra push, use your weights if you please. Up and up. 10 more. And nine, eight, seven. Squeeze out those shoulders and you should feel the shoulders actually contracting as the arm comes up. Four to go. Three, two, last one nice little march warm up the hip flexors stretch out the glutes start off with a low march and then we bring the knees up a little higher drive your arms back by your waistline there push those elbows back now knees up use the arms that's it nice and big exaggerate the move and lift it up really drive that knee up in front of you you feel your abdominals contracting a little bit so draw your belly button into your spine here and feel the contraction as the knee drives up that's it good lift come on use those arms nice and strong lift up ready for some shoulder press keep the legs doing the same thing push the ceiling away now push and pull down make sure you do pull down you don't just flop your arms down Pull down, that's it, work your back muscles. Even in our warm up, we'd engage those muscles. We get everything going right from the start. Push up, pull it down, slow down a little bit if you have to feel that move. And pull down, good. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Now press your heel out in front, rest the arms for a little bit. You can just do some light little hammer curls. Out of breath after that one. Now our sequence today is 10 seconds just to change to the next exercise, 50 seconds to do your actual work. Now if you feel with 25 moves that's a little bit too long for you, have 50 seconds, just add on another 5 or 10 seconds so you just get more rest time. Now up in front, that's it, good. Squeeze out those shoulders again, lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze, good. that's it. Make your arm move really big, really exaggerated. Putting those joints to the full range of movement keeps them healthy and they will get stronger quicker. That's it, lift and lift. 10 more, nine eight seven six and five four three last two and this is your last one okay back to some nice light little lateral marches keep the elbows driving back behind you now find your space in the middle we're going to straddle four three two legs open legs close it open close just pretend you're stepping up and down on a platform or an exercise step bend your knees slightly just bringing in some warm-up exercises for the ankles and the knees and the straddle is perfect for that open and close keep using your elbows it will help to balance the body somewhat open and close light on your feet four more three two and one now hold the two feet together nice little pendulum lean slightly to the side but don't overly lean okay so again locking in your abdominals 
stops that overly over bending the body lift and squeeze it out now let's add some arms up and down that's it good again nice full body move gets the joints working through their full range of movement gets their heart rate up a little bit more and keeps that blood circulating around the body squeeze it out come on we can do this feel a lovely stretch for your torso as well feels really good and two and last one i want to do some little step backs now we do have some body weight and back lunges coming today great leg great exercise for the lower half and the legs and the glutes if you find them a little bit difficult just stick to a step back and you can go as low as you can you can experiment with how low you can get down there put a chair beside you or in front of you if you need assistance or just go to a wall now if you want to get down a little lower that just brings in a little bit more work for the glutes and the legs here and the hamstrings at the back and i always like to include lunges in my warm-up again another great one for warming up the knees and the ankles and the hips lunges is great great mobility for your hips and of course it'll get that heart pumping so that even though you might think this is strength which it is it's very much cardio as well I feel my heart rate coming up with this one even though it's quite a slow move back to some little step backs if you're struggling a little bit with them and we'll just do two and last one okay step touch and reach up let's begin so 25 exercises all body weight if you're feeling like you want to add your weights you can do that keep them light though don't go too heavy and last one okay a few little ankle rotations calf raises really stationary walks just to get those feet ready a little bit more press that heel down very gently that's it feel the calf muscle contracting and relaxing and the little bones of the feet and the fascia getting nice and warm continue on with that I'll just show you the first move and then watch me during the 10 seconds for each move coming up today so we've got a double step touch that means two reaching above the head and our shoulders are nice and warm for this one okay let's get going enjoy yourself looking forward to this today all right I'll just finish off some of those stationary walks with you gently pressing that heel into the floor okay let's go so one and two and other side so two both sides arms will continually reach up over the head Good. come on reach up nice and high now if you are struggling with over the head moves always remember just go down lower out in front here is good too that's it we just want to keep that heart rate up lift for two other side for two and you can go nice and slowly here or you can take up the pace just watch your form if you go a little faster lift and lift good few seconds to go now excellent work now next move V step for just one and then two leg kick outs so three points on the floor two leg kick outs okay and kick it and kick so one two and three and two kicks so we're getting those hamstrings early on in the workout Bend your knees slightly as you do your little v-step three points there kick it kick it you can punch out the ceiling if you want to make the move harder lift and lift leave out the arms to decrease intensity so kick it and kick 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 good kick it and kick well done now we have 
step back for three, count to three there, and then the opposite side, sorry, knee raise, just get the balance. We'll do the other leg next. Okay, one, two, and three, opposite knee. Step it back, stay above that heel. Good, and lift. And three, good, lift it up. Try not to force your heel down. Very important, watch the Achilles heel there behind us. Good. Two, now let's squeeze out those abs, that core. Two, three, lift. Come on, work those back muscles. Don't just swing the arms back, now engage. Feel the muscles between your shoulder blades working as you press those elbows back. Let's get one more. Two, three, and knee. Well done. March for that 10 seconds. Add a little jog if you're feeling like that. And let's get the other leg done. All right, let's go. So we're again with those elbows. Opposite knee raise. Push back. That's it. Lift. One, two, and three. And squeeze out those core muscles. That knee drives up, you should feel your tummy working. And lift it up. So muscles that we want to put a bit of emphasis on here would most definitely be your trapezius rhomboids that lie between your shoulder blades as those elbows drive back and your abdominals as that knee drives up. That's it, feeling that there. And lift. And lift and I think we are there well done okay excellent now I've got a little hop hop knee raise for two or it's just a little step step knee knee for anyone who's not jumping up for two up for two now it's a very light little hop on the feet on the toes two good up and two and again you should be really feeling your abdominals as the knee drives up. Great standing abdominal work here with a few of these moves. Now you again, you can always make it harder by punching it at the ceiling. That's just optional. Up, up. If you're happy tapping out your knees, stick with that. Nearly there, one more, and tap. Excellent work, okay. Now we have heel tap, opposite leg step out and punch. Heel, opposite step and punch. Now if you can't get to your heel, just go up a little higher on your leg. And you can even tap out your knee here if you want to. It just requires a good deal of hip mobility to rotate that foot up towards your inner thigh. And step and punch. Step and punch, come on. Lift and punch. Punch there, come on, nice and strong with the punches. Now if you need to slow down just to work on balance a little bit, just go at a little bit of a slower pace. That's fine, good. Lift, punch it out. Breathe for me now, come on. Get that air in and out. Punch it out. And last one, okay. Other leg. Keep the heart rate up in between each move. Okay, let's go. Up, step and punch. You can use the other arm there, up and guard, or out a little bit for balance. It'll help you if you just put it out there behind you. Lift, good. And lift it up. Punch. Good work, come on. Punch it out, that's it. Nice and strong with that arm coming across the body. Drive across, well done. Lift it up. Come on, you're doing great. Less than 10 seconds. Keep that heel coming up. Now the muscle does tire in the leg there, but Gonna fight it a little bit, and there we go, we did it. 
Well done. Now our next one is step forward, or you can run it if you want. Knee up, and then other side, okay? Up, and lift. Up, punch the ceiling. If you're feeling very energetic, you can just do a little hop, and up. And up. Always mix between the two. If you're feeling a little fatigued, or take it just back down to low impact. Good, and lift, punch it out. Come on, nice and long with those arms going up to the ceiling. Good, punch, and punch. Well done. I love moving forward and back. It's not something you do unless you're doing a structured workout. We always just seem to go forward. So it's good to go back as well. All right, now I love this exercise. It is our heel lifts or butt lifts, squeezing out your butt cheeks. This is a great one for the gluteus maximus. Reach up, try and reach as high as you can. That's it, work on that mobility for the upper body, shoulders and the chest while we do a great exercise to work our butt cheeks or our glutes. Squeeze them out now as you lift, squeeze. You should feel a contraction there in that big, big muscle group that we sit on. That's it, lift up. Be very precise with that heel coming back. Try not to arch your back. You shouldn't feel it in the lower back. You should definitely be feeling it in your glutes. Hopefully they're working hard for you there. Lift and lift, well done. Okay, now I've got this little shuffle. Punch out, punch out, okay? Shuffle across the room and punch. Let's go together now. Remember, if you're fatiguing, take an extra 10 seconds of marching and then come in at around 20 seconds. That's it, good, punch it out. Well done. Drive that arm across the body. Keep the other hand up and guard. A little shuffle of the feet, very light, and drive across, and across. Come on, doing a great job here. Heart rate should be up now, sweat should be flowing a little bit even. I know the temperatures are getting cooler here, so I notice I'm not taking as long. I'm, I'm sweating, but not as much as the hotter temperatures. Still feels good though. Well done. Okay, we're ready for some more hamstring work. Leg across the body, reach for the toes. And don't worry if you can't get to the toes, even down low is, is perfect. Always working on the mobility here. Try not to lean back. So again, we have to switch on the core muscles to stop the body from leaning too far back. Kick it up and kick it up, well done. I feel as I go through the move, I'm getting a little bit more flexible, getting that foot a little higher. That's good, that's a good sign your body is responding. And lift up. Good, come on, keep going. And across. Feeling very stretched now at this stage. And across. Great work. Now, starting on the right leg, right to left. Let's do that again. Right to left, heel tap, that's it. Right to left, heel. So step over to the left leg and then a little heel tap, just like we did earlier, and tap it out. Other leg is next, so it'll be left to right. So just think here, right over to left, heel. That's it, just break it down nice and simply. It's a step touch into heel tap. Tap out your knee if you're struggling with that heel tap move. That's it, good. And over we go. Tap it out. Feeling how much work the muscles here and the legs have to do with this heel tap exercise. Good. And there you go. 
Well done, march it out. Think now, we're going the up, opposite direction now. Left, right, and then opposite leg, heel tap. All right, let's go with it. Left to right, heel. Heel. And once you get confident with it, it starts to flow really well. And tap it out. Good. And lift. And lift. Remember, just tap out that knee if your leg is very fatigued, that you're finding it trouble, you're troublesome to get that heel up towards your inner thigh. Gets heavy after so long. Good. It's like someone strapped some weights around the ankles. And lift it up. Come on, we're nearly there now. Let's stay strong together. And lift it up. And lift. And this is your last one. Okay. Great work. Now, we have a little knee raise and arms going above the head here. Okay, so lifting the arms up above. Watch anything above your head here. Lift and lift. Sweep those arms up. And I want you to be really conscious of how much work you're putting in when they come down, okay? So we're not just flopping like this. Lift and lower. That's it, good. If you can get your hands to touch over your head, good, go for that, because that's great mobility. And down. Lift and down. Just getting the heart rate up again. Anything over the head is too much for you. Out in front, it's fine. Keep that lower half going, that'll keep the heart rate up for you. Let you get your training effect. Come on, lift and lower. Stay strong. We can do this together, strong ladies here. And well done, excellent job. Now we're going to slow it down a little bit and we're going to step out and travel the room with our squat. So a lateral or a travel squat. Okay, and drop and just keep going side to side. Now when I say we slow this down, it most definitely won't drop the heart rate. These are big leg moves. They require a lot of blood circulating to the big muscle groups. Drop it down. Let's feel those butt cheeks working hard. Down. Stand up. Sit to stand. Great exercise for our, mo our mobility, our hip mobility. Great for strengthening our hamstrings and our glutes and our quads. I'm not forgetting the quads at the front. And it's also wonderful for our balance, ankle mobility. Oh, I could go on all day. And there you go. All right, now we're into a side lunge. Side lunge, knee raise, reach up. Now this is gonna really challenge your balance. Put your foot down if you have to. Okay, if you can sweep it through, go ahead. Now you can make this even harder. Yeah, you know how to shoulder press. Okay, that's really gonna challenge your balance. Ooh. Put your foot down if you need to, shoulder press, that's fine. Every now and then try one with the foot up, the toe up off the ground, clear the ground. That's it, drop it down, and down. And you don't have to reach all the way to the ground, you can just step out to the side if that works better for you. Going all the way to the ground just increases the range of movement, which makes it a little harder for the body. Come on, you're doing great. It's really, get that heart pumping. Well done, now we're going the other way next. Okay, work one side. We have to work the other, even though it's a no repeat, we've got to do both sides. All right, let's go. Get that balance, maybe leave out the shoulder press for the first two. Bring in that knee if you want to. Good. Just break this exercise down and find portions of it that work for you. That's it, good. Whether that be a little side step rather than a full lunge, don't reach down to the floor if that's too much. Just reach towards the floor. Put your foot down. Leave out shoulder press. Come on, this is great. And lift up. Down. Lift it up. Come on, we're doing a great job here together. And down, 
and reach up well done well done that is not an easy exercise okay next one heel dig jumps or jump rope so gently pressing your heel in bending both knees slightly and just turning the rope and if you want you can stay nice and slow if your heart rate's high you want to bring it down a little bit or if you want to keep the heart rate elevated speed up and then if you don't mind impact here's another option just jumping it but very lightly and gently on your feet not slamming down controlling the move another option is you can do 10 seconds of jumping 10 seconds of low impact and that can help you introduce a little bit more intensity into your workout without overwhelming the body that's it come on three seconds to go well done excellent job with that one okay now what have we got next a leg kick out step the other leg behind kick step okay let's go kick step you don't have to reach down I like I've just find it helps me with my balance that's it good more hamstrings I actually do like getting hamstrings into the cardio the cardio exercises because they're, they're they're hard to get they're hard to target with strength workouts working out at home I like to do my Romanian deadlift quite a lot in my strength workouts but generally speaking they are hard to target in your house without all the gym equipment so I like to really get a lot of hamstring work into the cardio exercises and back down come on kick it down kick low if you have to that helps your balance and back down and yes we've got to balance out the other side march keep the heart rate up skip if you want to jump rope okay kick it step step back and back slow down if you feel you're say you're having a bad balance day and step back if you're okay with it you can take up the pace and back kick it out come on and lift and back and back really feeling the glute working there kick it up and back just as I step back you can really feel the glute on this side I just step and reach down as it supports the weight of the body that trunk coming down it's great work for the glutes all right or your lower half in general and here's another great one so here's our back lunges or stepping back if that's what you want to do low step back okay you can either just step back do a low step back get those knees all the way to the floor if you can into a lunge okay it's gonna get the heart rate up down keep the chest upright now here try not to bend at the waist so a very straight back oops let's get that balance and up. find that fixed point as I always say to you stare at it focus focus on staying strong and balanced that's it good work drop down just there now let's get one more well done okay legs are burning all right speed boxing again you can step this if you don't want if you're just tired your heart rate's up a little too high you want to get a little bit more sweat flowing <laughs> take up the pace a little faster punch it out that's it good work try not to bump your hands off each other as you rotate up there fast feet nice and light toe to toe we're doing great now we're working our way through each move now heading up to 22 minutes now punch it out come on well done stay strong keep those arms up keep them up just there now 
excellent work okay you're feeling those shoulders all right now we have to work them again but laterally we're going to step across the room with a lateral raise okay and you can just double time the lateral raise to match the legs good squeeze it out now again here we go again we can just easily flap away here and not do much for our muscles or you can contract contract relax that's it lift and lower lift and lower i'm bending my knees slightly that just helps just to get across the room a little easier just fires up the muscles a little bit more that's it come on we're doing great move 23 two to go let's stay strong come on and there you go well done now as if we haven't done enough of this but let's challenge ourselves before we finish out prisoner heel lifts okay come on we can do it you can do it down nice and low if you're really fatiguing or if you have that little energy spurt at the end let's take advantage of it and lift lift you can mix between the two do the lower one for about 10 seconds or so and then take it up again always finding a way to get through your workout even if you're having one of those days where it's just not working out for you just find something that will help you get through it lift and lift come on lift it up squeeze it out yeah squeeze that like you're lifting that heat and then squeezing it out just there now last one okay and we are going out with a bang like we always do touchdowns keep that head up reach up to the ceiling join me on the beep here we go let's finish out nice and strong and a very stationary exercise but it's going to get the heart rate up Ooh. feeling those glutes and those legs working now stretch up come on we can do this together I hope you're enjoying your workouts and if you are don't forget to hit that thumbs up button below the video here help to give the channel a little bit of support lets me know gives me instant feedback that you enjoyed today's workout and a big thumbs up to you reach up come on stretch it out reach up good work we are just there into the last few seconds maybe one more and there you go well done i'm going to give you a double thumbs up for completing that extra few minutes today what a great great class that was Ooh. all right ty now after that last one let's take a moment just a light sorry a light bit of cardio to bring the heart rate down well done with that one that was great feeling really good after that one now we'll do a few stretches before we finish okay now I have a, a nice little I think I have showed you this before it's just it was very wasn't very expensive I just got it in the local supermarket so it's great for stretching out anything that involves the knee so we go down onto the floor view obviously we don't have one of these you can do it on your exercise mat and you can even roll up your exercise mat to make it even thicker I do that sometimes and um, just roll up the exercise mat it makes it lovely and thick so that you don't feel any pressure on the knee when you're stretching out your hip flexors and your your quad muscle that's it now just reach forward here push forward I should say but we will reach up and feel a lovely stretch there in the hip flexor very important that we stretch our hip flexors out every time we work out or in general reach right up to the ceiling that feels really good excellent job now let's switch legs and again you can also stretch out on cushions if you have some pillows or cushions they are great for stretching out anything involving the knee 
right up to the ceiling if you can. Don't forget to keep pushing forward without arching your back. So watch you're not arching your back there. So I like to try and pull my belly button into my spine and keep the abdominals engaged and stop arching the back. Nice and straight. Push forward, push forward so you get that nice stretch in the hip flexor. That feels good again. And let's stand up and we'll stretch out our hamstrings. So sitting back, and if you want, you can, if you have a height, a little step or something around, you can gently place your foot on the step. And you might feel a little bit of a deeper stretch going into the back of your leg, your hamstring. Sit your body down. Let's put our hands on our hips there. Put your, your thumbs on the upper part of your butt cheeks there behind your, your lower back. That really helps to open up the, open up the uh, chest a little bit more. Sit down a little deeper. Good. Let's switch around. Get your balance. Sit the body down. Hands behind you, their elbows going right back, opening up the chest. Head is looking forward. Drop your hips down. Feel that lovely stretch in the back of your leg. Sit a little deeper. done let's go down into a plank and again these kind of little mats are great for anyone who has issues with their wrists but you can do it on the floor hold your plank there this is just like a little bit of a mobility cool down walk it in stand up stick that bottom right out behind you like somebody's pulling your butt cheeks with a string walk out use your mat if you need to Walk it back in. Stand up, repeat. Do that hinge of the hips there. Very, um, if you do my strength workouts, you'll be familiar with the hip hinge. Hold that plank, don't let your butt cheeks sag. Or don't stick the bottom up to the ceiling. So squeezing out the glutes there, holding it. Walk it back in. bottom go out behind you now of course you can use a chair here if you struggle to get to the floor now this time we're going to step one foot in just again walk out to the surface of the chair the seated part of the chair this is the seat put your hands on it and just step your foot out to the side reach up so that we open up the chest it feels good hand back down on the floor or on a raised surface if that's what you're using Hold this position for a second. And I like to do this just to kind of get those knots out of that inner thigh there. This, my inner thigh, this side's quite tight. I can feel like a little bit of resistance every time I do this stretch. Reach that hand up. Keep breathing throughout. That feels really good. Step one leg in, come up, roll those shoulders back. Let's do a full body stretch. Interlace the fingers. We'll reach the hands up to the ceiling. I want to say a big thank you for joining me today. What a wonderful workout you did with me. Really loved each of those moves. Really enjoyed it. Don't forget to do, uh, or sorry, don't forget to drink your water as well. Even if you feel you're not sweating as much, it's still important to hydrate. Great work. And if you want a longer cool down, they're linked up in the description box below the video. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.